So, share a bullet. There's been a lot of call-outs of him lately. He's yeah. kind of sticking his cannons in the direction of some other fighters. And two names that I keep hearing are Kevin Holland and Bo Nickel. Right. You know, Bo Nickel obviously saw his last performance at UFC Saudi Arabia and said that he wants to expose his wrestling and his grappling. And obviously, Shara would want to expose Bo's very, you know, novice level, uh, novice level for the UFC right. striking, you know, compared to his very lethal, very, very brutal style of striking. And the other uh, person is Kevin Holland. Right. So Kevin Holland is always down for a fight. If we know anything about Kevin Holland, he's your short notice guy. If right. you need him in there, you want to change opponents on him you want to throw him on a card to save it you know he's always going to say yes he's always going to be game if kevin holland has a fight that falls out it's not because he said no it's because his opponent said no that's right now what's really interesting to me is we just watched ufc 303 last night right i saw share a bullet in the crowd mm -hmm. so he's in the states right now i also have heard some some rumblings that colorado will sanction a fight for somebody who only has the use of one eye. Right. Now, there is a UFC card coming up in July in Colorado on the 13th, I believe it is, yep. that doesn't yet have a main event on it. So I'm kind of starting to put things together here. Why is Shara Bullet in the States? Obviously, he's here to see a, a big fight, International Fight Week and all that. Right. But this Colorado card, why is there talks about that and the potential of him being able to fight on it? Could we see... Kevin Holland or Bo Nickel versus Shara Bullet as a main event or co-main event for that July 13th card, yes or no? And then I want to hear from you, how do you think early, you know, preliminary uh, thoughts and, and, and technical breakdown, each of those fights could potentially look? Yeah, well, I love both fights, and I really do love the fact that in 2024, we've had a whole bunch of uh, fights and big fights get pulled out last moment. Yeah. So the theme of 2024 has been save a card on last minute notice, take a short notice fight, and then go out there and make something happen. And basically every time we've had that, it wasn't what we expected, but we always got more than we were anticipating. Just and last night. Exactly. Last night was a perfect example of that. So I love that Shara Bullet called out Kevin Holland because... It, there was some thought put into it, right? There's a July card coming up. It's July 13th. It's in Colorado. And Colorado just so happens to be the one state that allows people with one eye to fight. So I, I know there was a level of in investigation on Shara Bullet's side to make sure that was happening. And if you go back and, and look at where one comes over to America, when the rare time that they do come, I think they just came for the first or second time not that long ago. They go to Denver. They go to Denver. And I think it has to do with some of the rule sets. Not the eye thing, but you're able to do certain things that exist in the one rule set that you're not allowed to do in, in other rule sets and uh, in commissions and whatnot. So they go to Colorado and they make their fights happen there. And I think that Shara Bullet knows that he can get approved and, and, and signed to fight in July in Colorado. And he knows that Kevin Holland is a meaningful guy at 185 and at 170. He also knows that Kevin always says yes to short notice fights. He always says yes. Look, Kevin Holland is a company man. And it's, it was funny because when he was on the Contender Series, Dana was like, I can't get this guy, you know, get this guy out of my face. But now Dana White loves Kevin Holland. He can't get enough Kevin Holland. Anytime they need to call somebody, they send out the bat signal. No, they don't send out the bat signal. They send out the Kevin Holland signal. And he sees it. He accepts whatever fight they have in his way. They could call him and say, hey, we want you to fight Bo Nickel. Hey, they could call you and say, we want a main event. We want you to fight Marvin Vittori. Yuri oh, just fell out. You, you want to fight Alex Pereira in the main event? You right, know? he would do it. And that's the, that's the kind of guy that's always going to get good favors from the UFC because he's, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And I really do think that that's more the direction the UFC should go. I think uh, July card in, in, in Colorado needs a main event. Kevin's a five-round guy. Share a bullet would gain more fans if he took a fight on short notice in America I think that would do a lot of good for his international fan base to grow. And if he's able to get his hand raised, of course, now we're talking about a whole nother thing because in a guy's third fight in the UFC, he's already main eventing and fighting in five round atmosphere. So that to me is very intriguing. I'm sure it's intriguing for te the team at Shara Bullet's uh, uh, side. And I, I would like to see that fight happen more so than I'd like to see Bo Nickel fight. Uh, the reason is I think Shara Bullet has a bright future. I think he can go far in the division. And obviously, I think the same for Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel seems like he's got champion written all over him. He's got the style that's a nightmare for a lot of strikers at 185. He's got good striking. Like you said, it's a novice level for a guy with his uh, record and, and things like that. But at the end of the day, he's putting the lights out on people and he's able to grapple them up whenever he wants to. 
so I think that fight is a meaningful fight, but it needs to be pushed down the road about a year or two. And I think Bo Nickel and Cheryl Bullet both in the top five competing uh, against each other, maybe potentially knocking off one of their undefeated record. That is a more meaningful fight for the UFC. Not saying Kevin Holland versus Shira isn't meaningful. It's very meaningful, especially when you've got a young prospect like Shira Bullet fighting somewhere he's never been able to fight before and doing it in a, in a main event slot. It, 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 there's a lot of good things for Shira Bullet to take this fight, and I don't think that it's, it's out of the realm of possibility. I know the fight's only about you know two weeks away exactly, but... Share a bullet will take a fight on short notice. 185 isn't hard for him to make, it seems. And I know Kevin Holland can make 185 in a couple of days' notice. So I'd like to see that fight more than the Bo Nickel fight. And I think Kevin Holland brings a serious uh, addition of an inexperience to Share a Bullet's uh, resume already. And it would be a very tough fight for him, but I think that's a fight that the fans would love. Yeah, I, I love that fight, too, because Kevin Holland is a sniper. If yeah. you watch some of his highlight reel knockouts, he's very good with his range. Shara Bullet does get a little bit open sometimes when he moves in, right. but he cracks very hard. I think that would be a very compelling fight, uh, and whoever won, it would just continue to add to the legacy and, and star power of Kevin Holland if right. he were to win, or if Cheryl were to win, you know, a new star is born, and, and you have somebody who's getting fast-tracked to the top of 185. Right. The reason I don't love Bo Nickel versus Shara right now is because I feel like one of them would expose the other one and it would happen in a very quick period of time. Yeah. Like either Shara is going to completely expose Bo on the feet or Bo is going to completely de demolish Shara on the ground. It's right. really not, neither one of them possesses the skill to even be remotely competitive where the other one is strong. Right. You know, if we're talking about a grappling match, Bo Nickel gets Shara out of there in 30 seconds. And if you're talking about a Muay Thai match, Shara Bullet gets Bo Nickel out of there in 30 seconds. So there's really not a whole, it's, it's a matter of who can implement their game plan first right. and i think both of their games should have the ability to evolve yes. before you put them in there with each other but kevin holland would give share a bullet exactly the fight that he wants right He'll give him a great striking match, somebody who's fluid, somebody who's precise, somebody who's going to talk a little trash to you in yep. the cage and bring that that out of you. So, you know, listen, we're just speculating. We don't know what's going to happen. I just think it's it's curious that Shira Bullets in the States right now. There's talks of this Denver card allowing him to fight with one eye, and now two opponents are continuing to recycle their names, and, and, and people are talking about potential fights there. So either way they go, I'd like to see it. But one thing I know for sure, I want to see Shira fight again soon and I'd love to see him fight in the United States yeah. I think that he could build a, a nice fan base here in the States and if it's got to be Colorado then it's just got to be Colorado so let it happen there because who knows when the UFC is going to be back in Denver yeah I'd really love to see this thing happen and you know a little inside baseball for the people Kevin Holland is a, a teammate and a training partner of mine and while we don't you know we're not near the same size I don't get to spar with him all that often uh, I do get to train with him every day he's in the gym he looks very good he's determined to fight very soon. Uh, I can't wait to see when the news unfolds on this. I've got my ear to the ground. I've got, you know, some inside sources. We aren't going to talk anything about that because nothing's official yet, but make sure as soon as you guys hear about it, come back to this channel because we're going to have some good information for you. And I have a feeling we're going to have a big fight put on the top of that July 13th card there in Denver. Well, there we go. I'll leave you with that. Thanks guys.